Hello everyone, we are here at Pokhara for WordCamp Nepal 2024. Let's go in. You can see here's our theme wheel stall and we don't have any banners because we lost them but yeah let's go So I'm kind of tall for this, but hey, it's fine. So hey, I just wanted to share this board camp leading up to it without a streak of bad luck, right? So first things first, we come here, the bus we were in, the bus just kept stopping. So we had to jumpstart the bus, but here we are, in a, we don't have enough sleep. We've lost the banners. All right, it's filled with people, WordCamp Nepal. I didn't, I didn't, I did not expect these many people to be here, but hey, here we are. Having a bit of coffee, just came here yesterday. I'm still kind of tired, but we're gonna have fun. We're gonna talk to a few people and let's see how things unfold. So this time our production budget was kind of up. So I hired a cameraman. Give me the camera. All right, just like the old days, here we are with the cameraman, Bix. I, I, it's his first WordCamp experience. Cheers. Uh, it's his first work camp experience, what do you think? I wasn't expecting this many people to be honest. Uh, I was not expecting these many people. There's like a lot of people here, I'm not gonna lie. Each work camp I come to, all right, I, I'll be like, there's not gonna be more people than this. Every single time, but there's gonna be more people, all right? Work camp Kathmandu, a few people, fine, whatever, but look at this. There's like way too many people. All right, how am I supposed to talk to people? Even if I shove this phone down their throat, I'm not getting any audio. So I hope, I just, I just, I just pray to God this works. Second time, work camp. So, how's everything? <laughs> Same questions again. Same questions. How's I'm everything? Here as attendee uh. in this work camp, and I'm enjoying a lot. So, you're not a volunteer this time? Yeah, no, not so, you're not working? Not organizer, not a speaker. So far, so good. There's more people compared to work camp Kathmandu. Yeah, almost so, yeah. thousand. Thousand? Oh, yeah. All right. So, last time, do you know the numbers? What were, what were the last time? 250. Oh, 50. Almost double. More. Most, most of them are, I think 90% of them are students. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So, okay. Did you watch our last vlog? Yeah, I did. You did? Yeah. Okay, how was it? <laughs> how was the review? I need the review. No, it's good. I was yeah. sweating a lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, you know, it was, it was bound to happen. It was summer and you were working. Yeah. So, so the vlog was good. Yeah. I liked it. Alina approved. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. All right. So there's this long line right here that you can see. We're trying to figure out what this line is about. So let's go. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> I still don't know what it's all about, but yeah, let's see. Rocket. I think they're giving out. <laughs> all right, wait. I think they're giving out free T-shirts. So yeah, I think that's what the hype is all about. I got a special invite and got got the T-shirt. I I can you get a can you get me a T-shirt? Can you get me a t-shirt? Maybe I'll have to... You're Neil Lai, come on. He's, he's asking me to stay in line. Come on. You can get me a t-shirt, right? Can I give you that? No, I won't be giving you. Just oh, yeah. invite and got the gift without being in the line. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can flex all you want. Look at this man, he's flexing. He got a free t-shirt. Yeah, okay. Enjoy your life. Enjoy that free t-shirt. <laughs> all right. I guess I'm not getting a t-shirt. All right, so this book caught my eye. So the book is uh, Why Nepal? So can you tell me a little bit about this book? Okay, so this book is written by Nikujol Thapa, who is no more with us. So after he passed away uh, from his foundation, which is working for his memorial, memorial act, uh, he wrote some article and we compiled it and published it on the foundation. Okay, so, nice. so what is it about exactly? Why Nepal? So it is about um, some present past scenario of Nepalese politics, Nepalese uh, situation. So it's about something about a journey of experiments, reflection and provocations. Oh, it's nice. So, like, are you giving away these books for free? No, 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 it's for no? sale. Okay, how much for? for 600. One? 600. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, so here we are with Paras Devkota. All right, so I met him during our last work camp. So, I just want to ask you a few things about work camp you're organizing. How's everything? How do you think? 
Uh, yeah, we feel great about having community as uh, strong as WordPress community in Nepal and in all recent activities and the biggest one yet being a part of this biggest uh, WordCamp ever in Nepal feels proud and I personally feel joyed at the same time. Uh, we, we thank everyone for making this possible, all the organizers, volunteers, sponsors especially. Uh, even from governmental support, we had the chief minister yesterday. And today we have some uh, support from Pohara municipality and Nepal Tourism Board as well. So yeah, thank you everyone for making this event a grand success. Uh, may take the best out of it. Uh, we have a tagline this time, explore, connect and elevate. For the first timers, this is something to be explored. Lord, for the people who are active in WordCamps, connect and for the ones who will take the most out of it, elevate yourself. So enjoy WordCamp. So how long have you been in this WordPress industry? Uh, in the industry I've been for more than 10 years and in the community I've been from since 2018. So I think I should come but it's like 6 to 7 years. What do you, uh, so what do, you do exactly in WordPress? Yeah, I am a full stack developer and mostly I have a startup company in Pohra as well where we uh, make mostly uh, tourism clients, we support them, we provide them with uh, powerful websites using WordPress. Uh, there are a lot of hotels who take bookings uh, and payments in advance. So uh, the flexibility of WordPress has supported a lot of tourism industry business in Nepal and we are uh, supporting them. All right, all right. Thank you so much. Come a little bit closer. Come a little bit closer. All right, so a lot of people were walking by, yeah. right? <laughs> so that was a bit awkward, but I think, yeah, but I think we got a great clip. And uh, yeah, let's see, let's see what we can use. So thank you so much again. Thank you, right, take care. I'll see you around. All right, man. I was trying to record, but people just kept walking by. Like, the, what's most messed up is some of them actually just stared into the camera and then just walked by. All right, a few seminars are happening. Let's go in. Let's have a look. Yeah, and ask if you want help. Just go to All right, so here we are with C. Ansley. Where are you from? Uh, many places. Let's say I'm here on my New Zealand passport. I live in Goa at the moment. Oh, you're from New, Ze you're from New Zealand. My father's New Zealand, mother is Canadian. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. All right, so what do you think? WordCamp Nepal 2024, how's everything yeah, looking? It's fantastic. It's my first WordCamp in the world. Um, I've heard a lot about it over the years. People here are very excited and enthusiastic, uh, thirsting for knowledge and swag, I noticed. I noticed when there was no swag on our table, no one would come. Yeah. And then we put one item and then 40 yeah. people are like, we've run out of it already. Yeah, I was trying to talk to you before, but then I oh. saw there's like a lot of people. All right, I'll get this guy some, sometime later. So, Thanks, that's yeah. so have you heard of Theme World before? It strikes a bell, but I don't know much about it. Yeah. How are you syncing up the camera and the audio later? Have uh, you have you auto sync, or you have to get like the slap? Okay, so we're gonna slap it up, right? Yeah. And then I'll have to match the audio that's with the video clip, I know. right? I'll I'll have to do that, and then I'll let Adobe do the net. Adobe do it the It takes rest. so long. To yeah, it does yeah. take long, but you know, it's worth it. It's yeah. worth it. So yeah. All right, so thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, what's up? It's me, Cameron Benberg, and there's simply a lot of people. A whole lot of people, man. A whole lot of people. And I'm not even recording the audio. It does, yeah, it, does it doesn't sound good. It doesn't matter. I just realized something. I'm looking. He just walked all the way to the front and recorded, right? Now, if I do the same thing, like, do you see how big I am? Like, I, I tried that last time. People were like, hey, what are you doing? I can't see. Like, being small is so fun. Like, you can just go up there and you can just record and just walk, walk in and out like nothing ever happened. My G, let's go. Let's go. The fact that I will never have to worry about leg space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm the most clustered place. Don't Dude. worry. There is a pros of being short. Pros of being tall, pros of being short. So, to all my short friends out there, you guys are rocking. Being tall, it's not much fun. All right, trust me. For first time experience. Let's do this. Right, I don't know what he was doing, but I think he was recording people walking in. Regardless, it looked funny. It just, it just looked funny. I don't know why. It looked funny. Okay. All right. Come close. Do I know how to set this up? I don't know. But I'm still doing it. Uh, 
I think I did it. I don't know. We still don't have the banners, but, but you know, the tripod is set up. All thanks to me. All right, I have something to say. Uh, there are people here that are wearing sunglasses indoors. Why are you wearing sunglasses indoors? Like, I can barely see people with my naked eye, and they're wearing sunglasses. Let me actually try. Let me see what the appeal is, okay? I'm going to see what the appeal is. You know what? It's actually not that bad. Yes. You know what? All right. All right, it's actually not that bad, but still, I'd like to see people. So I see a familiar face. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Am I disturbing? How are you? I'm doing great. Hi, my name is Sid. I'm I'm from Team Grill, oh, the video marketing team. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you both. So from what I've heard, you both are from India. I yeah. knew you. We've met before. We met in the Vatican yeah, yeah, Manu and we, we have recorded, we as, have recorded well. as well. Yeah. Did you watch the video? Uh, no, I didn't get some link. Oh, yeah. Okay. Fine. Okay. Are you on Twitter? Yeah. I'll make that happen. I'll get you yeah, the link. Sure, Alright, sure. so that's fine. WordCamp Nepal 2024. How do you How do you think? How's that thing going? It's amazing. You know, the energy is awesome and the interest that people have in the ecosystem and I think the overall support from everybody is just amazing. I'm sorry, can you please introduce yourself to the audience? So my name is Nita Mehta and uh, we have a few WordPress businesses and a SaaS and I'm from uh, Mumbai. Um, so I spoke in the morning today about uh, surviving entrepreneurship, technology and life. Uh, and you know, the audience there was also just so amazing. So I think it's been a great experience so far. So what do you think about, I mean, you know, we, we all know how work camps are, but yeah. this time, is there anything different? What do you think? Yeah, so I have, I have this is my second work camp in Ka Nepal. So first work camp I attended in work camp Kathmandu recently. So that time I loved the energy, loved the vibe. And at the, that same moment, I decided that I will attend the work camp work in Nepal as well because it is also happening at such a nice place about Nepokra and the energy is, is still the same and the people are still lovable and and I, I was also the table lead yesterday in the contribution day and around many people came to our table and they were more when they were more and more eager to know about the WordPress and contribution and all this so they are keen in they are keen for learning they have they have a hunger for learning and this is something that I like the most and about the event and about the energy it is Awesome. So last time I know you were here with your entire team. So are you here with your entire team as well? No, no, not 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 the entire team. And me and me and my wife. She is, she was also at table lead yesterday. Uh, so we two are here. All right. So let me ask you this: since you've been to Kathmandu and you've been here in Pokhara now, what differences do you find? The most important track. So uh, difference is traffic. Ah, uh, yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> yeah, so we, we have we have we have traveled in the Kathmandu as well in the Pokhara as well. So here you are, you can see that everybody is every, and there is less traffic. You can easily commute, and both are, you cannot compare both of, both the places. They are completely in contrast with each other because it is a more close to the nature. Yeah. So this is something different. Mm -hmm. And the Nepal Kathmandu is being a capital city, uh, so this com this that can uh, that can be expected from there so yeah. so you cannot compare the both the things both the places but both are nice okay, so, that's nice. so i hope you guys have a great time i'll see you both around and if and if you know if, if possible we'll have some chat again without the camera yeah sure all sure. right yeah sure thank you thank you so much thank you so much all right have a great time all right there's some food we're gonna have some food and we'll give a food review so yeah let's go let's see how let's see how it is We got some food. We're gonna have this food and we're gonna let you know. Was the food a pass or a smash? Meanwhile. All right, so we finally got our banners. This is the first one. There's two others. Now, the thing about these two is that they're supposed to go up on a wall, but since they're not on a wall, they're just hanging around. You know that meme? Me? <laughs> just hanging around. All right, I have a question for you all. What do you call a word that's hiding? <laughs> WordCamp. Rate this WordCamp Nepal on a scale of 1 to 10. Uh, I will give 10 out of 10. Are you? I would say it's pretty massive. Uh, probably 10. Probably 10. Right, uh, the sure. reason is this is the biggest WordCamp that right. we have. I think what I really liked is the number of people that have shown up. We have like 1000 plus. 
uh, we I don't think we ever had thousand. The the last World Camp that I remember, no, that was Kathmandu. But the Chitwan was, which was in Chitwan. That was like not around seven hundred something like that. This is the biggest. It's also a preparation for World Camp Asia in a way, like like we can host. World Camp Asia. When is it? It may be on 2025 or 2026. In Nepal, right? It's a way to show that we can actually host big events. So this is the first time in history in Nepal that we are having around 1,000 plus participants in World Camp Nepal. It also shows a lot of interest for the people in the and the faith of the people in the community. And if you see the crowd, it's massive, right? And people have traveled from different cities to to be here. So that says a lot. So you guys are enjoying so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. So we're here with Mr. Ujwal. How much do you rate this World Camp out of 10? Six to seven. Six to seven out of 10. But why? Why six or seven? Because we didn't get a charging point. We are getting a lot of difficulties. So yeah, no charging point. All right, so what's your name? So my name is Anand Ah, oh, Nice to meet you, Samsip. So I'm just going around asking people what they thought of World Camp. All right, so how much do you rate this World Camp out of 10? Yeah. Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Yeah. All right. So, what is it that deducted the last two remaining points? So, uh, basically, a deduction. It's not a deduction. It's not about the deduction. It was about the, how uh, all the attendees are interacting with everyone, and how they are interacting with the sponsors, and how the uh, sponsors uh, over here and the uh, uh, speakers over there are uh, managed. Ah, uh, right, yeah, right. right. Yeah, the fooling was everything good. The sessions were great, right? And all the organizing team are doing their best uh, for uh, making this event uh, great, nice. But uh, something gets missed uh, each and every time. It's still, you had a great time, right? Yeah. Eight out of ten. Yeah. All right. It was a great time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Take care. So, can I know your name? Yeah, Vasim Chahan. So, where are you from? Uh, I am from Delhi, India. Okay. So, when did you arrive here? Yeah, I came here yesterday all right. to attend this uh, all right. valuable all right. webinar of. WordPress. Word Camp. Okay, so WordCamp Camp Nepal 2024. Have you been to any other World Camps here in Nepal? Uh, no, it's my first time. Okay, so this, this is your first it's time. How much time. do you rate it out of 10? Uh, around 9. Around 9. Okay, so what's, what's the last thing there had to be for you to be a 10 out of 10? Uh, some uh, management issues there and some uh, speakers should be more uh, quality speakers should be there right. so that we can uh, anyone can gain uh, tech knowledge yeah. so uh, they will learn a lot of things right okay so can I know which company you're representing today yeah from SLS designs India okay so what do you guys do exactly yeah we will do corporate interiors we design offices oh, nice we design our uh, corporates Residential. Okay, so how do you make it here in WordCamp? Actually, I'm uh, uh, I'm working there as a digital marketing manager. Oh, okay. And our website is on WordPress. Oh. To learn more, more, any and everything on WordPress, how oh. to do SEO in advance. That's why I came here. Oh, okay, so that's great. So so far so good. You are enjoying this uh, WordCamp event. Have you been to Nepal before? Yeah, Nepal uh, four times I've come. Right, so what differences do you see from Kathmandu to Pokhara? Like, is the place how different is the place? Uh, it's uh, especially it's, it's a hill station, but in uh, Kathmandu, there is a look like a city, like right, uh, right, really, right. Uh, because that's a uh, that is a capital. And in Okra, it's uh, look like uh, awesome. Uh, if we want to adventure, in that case, it's perfect. Right. Right. So for me, Kathmandu is like the place of hustle and bustle, right? So everything is happening quick. So you yeah. like to go, go, go there. And in Pokhara, you just come and you're like, okay, so I'm done with my life. I think I'm retired now. I'd like to live exactly. my life in peace. In peace. That, that's the vibe I get from Pokhara. So yeah, you're enjoying Nepal as well. Yeah. All right, great. So how long do you plan to stay this time? Mm, for today and tomorrow only. All right. So after that, you'll be back yeah. to India. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so thank much you. for your time. All right. Really enjoy talking to you. Yeah, take care. All right. Jetpack team. Nice to meet you guys. I'm Sid, Timber Video Marketing Lead. I have one question for you. Yes. How much do you rate this WordCamp Nepal out of 10? Ah, how much would you rate? <laughs> and please be honest. Ah, you're recording me, I got to say 10. <laughs> no, 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 okay. The camera's not there. <laughs> Just you and me. Eight point five. Eight point five. Okay. So do I push more? All right. So what could have what could have been better? Um, I don't know. That's like the perfect point for me. <laughs> okay, sure. What about you? Uh, I'll say nine. I'll say nine. Yeah. Okay. What's the remaining one point? What's taken away that one point? I don't know. <laughs> right, what about you? Ten. You say ten. Why ten? Ah, okay. Well, well, that, well, that's well, that she's biased. Yeah. But yeah, that's fine. All right. So, so far, you guys are enjoying it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Your stall. What are you guys? Give, what, what do you guys give away? 
They are giving out uh, speed. Oh, nice. Vertical. Oh, great. Yeah. Speed. Oh, all right. And like, do you guys, are you guys all sold out on your merch? Like swags? Mm -hmm. You guys didn't bring any swags? No, this, this, this is a swag. All this? Yes. Just this? Oh, so I can just take it? Yeah. Oh, all right, sure. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, that's for Bix. I'll take it. All right. All right. Thank you guys so much. All right. What's your name? Uh, Sidi Banam. All right. Nice to meet you. My name is Sid Sharma. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Gan. Where are you from? I'm from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice to yeah, meet yeah. you. Nice to meet thank you. you. All right. Nice to meet you. My name is Sid. All right. Nice to meet you. All right. All right, so Asal, you just did a speech. How was it? I feel amazing. I feel it's, amazing. Uh, having right. the enthusiastic crowds and people from different uh, countries gathering for WordPress is really amazing to see such active and energetic crowds. All right, so I know that you live in Bangladesh. You work here in Nepal remotely. You came to Nepal. You came to WordCamp. Let's start with WordCamp. How was the WordCamp experience? This WordCamp, personally, when I uh, this is actually my second WordCamp. Previously, when I attended another WordCamp, this is far better than the previous one. Okay. Obviously, out of ten, how much do you rate it? Nine point five. Okay, what's the point five? Why did you not give the point five? Okay, please don't give me the answer of there's always room for improvement. All right, I don't want to hear that. All right. Well, Who for knows? the point five, I think there are some technical difficulties you noticed in uh, the starting of my session. Who's so, is it? Uh, I don't know, maybe from the organizers. So right. that's the reason I'm deducting the point five. Thing, are you married? Nope. Then how do you know what a good marriage looks like? I have married friends like you. <laughs> I don't have any married friends. Bro, I'm 20. I don't have any married friends. Uh, I have some married friends, so right. I know how it looks like. So they're still sleeping on their couches? Most of them. Would you call that marriage a successful marriage? Well, it actually depends on the life experience because I don't have that experience, so I cannot share uh, from other people's perspective. So. Well, you kind of did? No, I don't. Yeah, you did? In that case, uh, that was a pretty... Boys, we got him. We got him. It's just a pretty basic, you know, phenomena, what I said. That's about it. It's for uh, me throwing the chocolates. Well, yeah, you, you had an amazing speech. I sat down. This is the only session I actually was interested to come to. All Thank right. You. So, yeah, it was dope. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, so apparently there was this big seminar where everyone was. The guy was Mahabir Poon. Now I, despite being a Nepali, know nothing about him. All right. Even my cameraman doesn't know anything about him. But yeah, that's one shameful thing I have to share. Perfect. Let's go. I have a few questions. Yeah, please. All right. So you're selling books right. by yeah. Mahabir Poon, right? Yeah, yeah. So they'd like to know who is Mahabir Poon. Okay. Okay. Mahabir Poon is somebody who wants to set up a culture of innovation so that the economics of Nepal goes up and people get employment, right? And there's original innovation happening in Nepal. Not necessarily it's a discovery. Rather, it could be innovation where things are adopted for Nepalese context, be it in agriculture, be it in tech, or be it in biotech, or mechanical. All right, great. So, what is the book about? Uh, are, there, this, are there many different the, books? The, this is a biography of my, my beautiful, where one of the sentences would tell you that you have to stop on like 10 times more than me to make Nepal oh, or be oh. self reliant. Okay. Nice. All right, so how much is, how much is the price uh, of one book? 750 rupees per, per piece. You could, you could, you could, you could pay more. Yeah. I, can I pay less? Uh, no, that's can not all. Can I get one for free? Can I just. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, no, I can't. You have to uh, contribute a lot for free. So, uh, well, I'm contributing something. Things there, books there. All right, will, at least, nice will I get a discount? Uh, no, that's not an option. I'm sorry. This is All a right. philanthropy, so we're not getting this. Uh, over there, signing up. Oh, uh, this is philanthropy. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, nice. Could you sign up and thank you so much. Thank you so much. Sure, I will. Yeah. I will do it. Yeah, sure. All thank right, you thank so you. Much. Yes, what do you want to ask me? Okay, so I, I wanted to tell you about myself. Okay, right, so sure, can yeah. I? Yeah, yeah, thank you. So I am Arjit Borden, and I am from Pokhara itself. And I'm currently studying in grade 10. And this is my first ever war game experience. And I'm very, really happy to see all of you from various countries. And it was a nice experience, I would say. And then I would love to connect with all of you and then expand my network. Okay, thank you. Right, yeah, amazing. Thank you so much. All right. It was nice knowing you. Okay, thank right. you. Yeah. So, okay. I heard you had a speaker session here. Yes. How was the session? It was good. Yeah. It was good. What, what did you guys talk about? I did talk about test automation and try to motivate people to not spend so much time in testing manually their software and their apps, but to automate the testing process. All right, that's great. So, is this your first time here in Nepal? Where are you from? 
I'm from Germany, but I live since 12 years here in Nepal. Oh, 12 years? Yes. All right, so can you speak Nepali? Yes, I like to you. Oh, that's amazing. Let's go. That's nice. That's nice. All right. So, you've been here for 12 years, right? Uh, I assume you know where Kathmandu is? Yes. All right, so Kathmandu versus Pokhara. What's the, what's, what's the major difference you see? Pokhara is so much more beautiful. We have the mountains, we have clean air, yeah. we can breathe. Yeah, we are a little bit hotter. It's not, in Kathmandu, it's a little bit nicer, yeah, cooler. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's but, true. All right, so which company are you representing today? Jankari Tech. It's my own company. Oh, it's your own company? Yeah. All right, so it's, it's based here in Nepal? Yes, it's based here. Hey, well, where's the office? In, in yeah, Pokhara? Here in Pokhara. Yes. Oh, that's yes. amazing. So this, this is my first, oh, this is my second time here in Pokhara, right? Yeah. I, I come from Kathmandu. I live there. Mm -hmm. I come to Pokhara. It's like a completely different place. Yeah. It's like, it's like mind-boggling. It's, like, it's not even Nepal. It's like a different country. Yeah. Right? So yeah, so it's great so far. So, this work camp Nepal 2024, how much do you rate it out of 10? Please eight, be honest. Eight. All right. Yeah, yeah. What's the thing that took away the two points? Mm, we had yesterday a little bit of a hiccup setting up. That was a bit. And the line for the chair is too long. I am Of course, man. <laughs> a man needs his chair, right? Yeah. Set, set up some more stalls. Yeah. And there's like over a thousand people here. Yeah. So, yeah, there's going to be a bit of uh, problems there. But yeah, so far the event's good. You're enjoying it, right? Yeah. Were you in board camp come out in 2023? Mm. No. Yeah, I, I, I would have known, yeah. right? Because I was there, I was vlogging everyone. I was sitting here, I was thinking, how did I miss this guy? Yeah. I mean, oh, look at you, you look beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank right? you very much. Of course, all right. Yeah. Thank you so much. So yeah. I'm Have a good yeah. So I'm Finger's video marketing lead. Mm -hmm. So it was nice talking to you. Yeah. Thank All you. Right. Very Thank much. you. Take yeah. care. Okay. Bye. Hello. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. I want to welcome you to Team Bro. We're here for a giveaway. All right. So I'm just uh, this afternoon, all of us are very sweaty and very tired. Let's get along with this giveaway. Wait. So what I'm going to do is we have two timers, right? So we're here. party which I may or may not go to regardless we had our gift giving ceremony not gift giving okay so we had our giveaway I also the giveaway my throat's kind of dead but regardless I'm gonna have some water and, I'm, and I might go to the after party I'm kind of tired I might not I'm shooting this on my iPhone because the camera's battery died and yeah I think I forgot the food review the food I'll give it an 8 out of 10 all right uh, the thing is, they had smaller plates, okay? If, if they only had bigger plates, like I couldn't fit everything. Like even the smallest portion of everything was, was more than enough for the plate. So yeah, food, eight out of 10, work camp, the venue, 10 out of 10. I have no complaints about the venue. I think Big Stars have a complaint about the venue. The venue had no water to wash his butt, but you know, that's fine, that's what it is. Yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys had a great time if you guys were here. You guys are watching this. And if you guys watched this entire vlog, Thank you guys very much. I'll see you around. Take care. Two minutes later.
Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Welcome to Ball 324.